A new study identified 37 recently active volcanic structures on Venus. The study, which was conducted by researchers at the University of Maryland and the Institute of Geophysics at Switzerland, provides some of the best evidence that Venus is still a geologically active planet. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the Sun, it is still the hottest. We know that it has a thick atmosphere full of greenhouse gases and clouds are made of sulfuric acid. The gas traps the heat and keeps Venus very warm. In fact, it's so hot on Venus, metals like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. The fact is, Venus is unusual because it spins in the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. Since Venus rotates backward, the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Venus actually looks like a very active planet. It isn't totally covered in volcanoes, but the piping hot world still has a lot of volcanic activity happening on its surface. This is the first time we are able to point to specific structures and say, this is not an ancient volcano but one that is active today, dormant but not dead. This study significantly changes the view of Venus from a mostly inactive planet to one whose interior is still churning and can feed many active volcanoes. Scientists have known for some time that Venus has a younger surface than planets like Mars and Mercury which have cold interiors. Evidence of a warm interior and geologic activity dots the surface of the planet in the form of ring-like structures known as corona which form when the plumes of hot material deep inside the planet rises through the mantle layer and crust. This is similar to the way mantle plumes form the volcanic Hawaiian islands. Previously, the corona were considered to have been signs of ancient volcanic activity and since Venus interior had cooled down, the geological activity had slowed down and materials in the interior was trapped under the crust. But the new study suggests otherwise. Scientists in their study created high-resolution 3D simulations of corona formation based on numerical models of thermomechanic activity beneath the surface of Venus. These simulations showed corona on Venus are still evolving which indicates that the planet's interior is still active. The active corona on Venus are clustered in a handful of locations which suggests area where the planet is most active, providing clues to the working of the planet's interior. These results may help identify target areas where geologic instruments should be placed on future missions to Venus such as European's Envision that is scheduled to launch in 2032. Going forward, researchers seek to understand the processes going on within Venus and draw links between the activity and the features we see on the surface. In fact, it might be possible to catch an eruption on the planet's surface if we are looking at the right place at the right time. Like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.